Now, I don't like what I'm feeling right here. He hauled out and he's looking around. So what do I need to do to, to deal with that? Okay, so we've been through uh, groundwork loose. We've been through groundwork uh, with halter on with this horse. We've got him bridled right now. I'm gonna take him over to the mounting block and, and let's see where his attitude is about getting on. All of that head movement right there and a horse that knows how to approach a mounting block is resistance that doesn't need to be there. Okay, so how do we get rid of that? We put him in the position where he needs to be to get on and do nothing. Don't be in a hurry to get on. <laughs> okay, and, and, and rub him in places where it, where it feels good. Let him know, and then I'm going to move that saddle back and forth. See him get tight right there. Not tight, but he, he quit moving. He, when, he, when he's solid right there, then he's going to be better equipped to take my weight when I, when I put some weight in that, in that stirrup. Now this is, this is not a, to see about getting on here. This is about seeing how he's going to respond when he feels my weight come up. See? That's a good response, so instead of getting on, I'm going to get off. <laughs> so it, it isn't about the physical getting on here as much as it is about setting this for him to get a little closer. <laughs> he said, yeah, I kind of like this. I don't have to do anything. that was about right there is my reins were long enough he was standing on the rein yeah I don't like what I'm feeling right here he hauled out and he's looking around so what do I need to do to, to deal with that I need him to go forward see the first thing I'm gonna do is position my shoulders over my hips and I'm gonna ask this horse to come forward and, and I've, I've got my bridle reins <clears throat> short enough so that if I feel this horse start to go down with his head, I can be there with a little subtle reminder, don't, don't do that, just stay, stay here. So I'm staying back, I'm looking forward. Now this horse <clears throat> is looking out of his left eye and he's pushing through with his body to the right. So I need, I need to get this horse there. See that change? He, he moved his right hind towards the left front and he stepped and then at that moment he looked. And the reason he did that was because of my left leg. There it is again. <clears throat> and when he made that step, I quit using my leg. I quit using my leg. This horse is looking for an opportunity to, to jump out from under me. He's not. He's not listening to me. He's expecting me to get into it with him. I'm gonna, I'm raising my energy up here a little bit and I'm gonna stay on this circle. Stay on this circle. And we're gonna come around here. I, I don't want him lipping his nose and coming around. He's gotta go forward with some softness, some feel. And the reason to go forward, I'm just using my right leg right now <clears throat> in a little way get this horse to come up and around my right leg. That's all I'm doing, up and around my right leg. I'm looking out halfway around this little circle I'm going on. I want him to stay at the same rhythm. I'm using my hand in a way that when he's looking the direction I want him to go, he's not feeling the bridle reins. I'm lifting on that bridle rein just a little bit. Why am I lifting on that bridle rein? Because he's got his nose out a little further than I'd like for it to be. So if he wants to hold his nose up, I'm gonna oblige him. Here, hold your nose up. If I keep lifting on 
on his nose, pretty soon he'll tuck it in. When he tucks it in, then we'll then we'll get somewhere. <clears throat> he's still braced. He's still looking around, looking for an excuse to jump. He's not with me yet, but he's getting closer, getting closer. I'm just still using just my right leg, I'm lifting up bridle reins. I'm looking. There we go. That was a nice couple steps right there. Now he's pushing in with, again with his shoulder. Now he's right on. Right on, right on. And he needs to be a little softer in the face. He needs to let me move around up here a little bit and not get anxious because I'm moving around up here a little bit. There, see that softness coming in his face? I'm still looking up here. I'm staying on this circle until I feel this horse come to me. By that I mean until this horse starts listening to me for every step it takes. I'm not micromanaging him. I just know that I want him traveling on this, this circle. I want him looking in the direction of travel. I want him coming forward from behind. I want him to pick me up in that saddle like that. Pick me up in that saddle like that. You see where I'm able to, to get a little more forward out of him here right now. And he's, he's agreeing with me by getting softer. See his head come down. I'm gonna go straight here now and then I'm gonna go left. Look left. Now he's feeling my left leg and he's not he's not honoring it. He's there there he honored it. I'm offering a little resistance in his face because I want him to soften up. I want him to come forward up into that field. Forward up into that field. Get up there. I'm asking this horse to get around there. Now I'm sitting still. I'm, I've got my legs completely out of him because he went forward with some enthusiasm because of my suggestion. Because of my suggestion. Forward straight on. Leaning in a little bit to the left. So my left leg's involved. Now he's getting soft in the front end. I'm gonna lift on that bridle. See him resist my hands. I want to stop his feet instead of getting soft in his face. There he got soft. There he got soft. You see that? Now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's go straight on here and then we're gonna change direction. Look right, right leg, right leg. See, he wanted to come shoulder first at that right there. And I'd say no, keep your shoulder out there where it belongs. Keep your shoulder out there softening up in the face. This is how I'm talking to myself as I'm going along here. My words are, are for you all listening and for me as I'm riding here. They're not for the horse. I'm communicating to this horse with feel. I'm, I'm looking where I want to go. I'm sitting right over my seat bone. I'm riding this horse forward. And he's starting to soften up underneath me. Because he's softening up underneath me, I'm going to change direction. We're going to go this way. That, when I change direction, he wanted to come rib and shoulder first instead of softening up and coming around through there in the in the proper body alignment he ought to be have his body on the same line as that that circle that's what being straight on a circle means to me his head his shoulders his hips all line up on this on the circle we're going to go forward let's go right Shoulder came first. I bumped that shoulder over there a little bit with my right foot. Starting to lose a little bit of that forward motion. So see now I've got now I've got the bridle reins involved here just a little bit more. Yeah. He said, come on, get up. He said, I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit tired. I know you're getting a little bit tired. If you start listening to me at every step you take, and you're gonna get to be able to quit. But as long as you're trying to make decisions by bracing in your body, I've got nothing to quit to. Feels pretty good right there. I'm gonna let him walk. Give him a little slack. Let him walk around here. It's a nice walk. He's looking where he's going, he's comfortable.
See if we can get forward here. See if we can get forward here. A little better attitude. See what happens if we ask for a canter. I'm lifting on that bridle ring. My legs are off of it. My legs are off. I'm, I'm just asking. just rushing through instead of cantering that's okay I'm gonna just hold his nose up into that pressure I've got my feet I've got my feet positioned where I've got weight in those stirrups and I'm standing back over my shoulders and I'm just using my legs like that wrong lead because he's pushing in with his shoulder correct lead I'm gonna just sit here and go with it I'm thinking about riding a straight line here turn wrong lead Straight line. He thought I meant stop. Bracing on my hands. Now he's off my hands. He's running faster than I want him to run. So I'm just going with it. I'm not trying to slow him down. Pushing on my hands, trying to root right rain out up there. We go now. I'm gonna get stopped here. I'm gonna turn into the fence, leaning in a little bit. At least he's on the correct lead. Stopped here. He ain't paying any attention. So I just lifted on that brow rein until he until he quit running off. <laughs> Held that situation. <laughs> wrong lead. Take the wrong lead again. Direct lead. Come across the middle. Get stopped. Didn't pay any attention to my stop signal. Get stopped. See how I run him into the fence. Strong lead. Go left. Go straight, Let's go left, Let's go straight, Let's get stopped. Not paying any attention to my stop signal. My stop signal is that I'm quitting riding. In his, in his mind, he's just taking the bridle and running through it. Get that soft hit yet. him soft in my hands again let him air up here a little bit I'm gonna take my legs off stop didn't pay any attention so I bumped him he's in freedom right now I'm gonna change direction soften up that face 
keep riding him up into that bridle. Ride him up into that bridle. Look across there. Take my legs off. Better. Still not good, but better. So because it was better, I'll sit here and do nothing for a minute. All right. Now this horse is in a in a pretty good frame of mind. He let me put him under some pressure, so I'm gonna let him have some slack here and air up while he's walking around. But there was a whole lot went on there as I was moving him along. I was feeling when he was with me, when he was not with me. I was feeling for softness in his face. I was feeling for where his body was relative to the line that I was traveling on. And I was just giving him every opportunity in the world to stay between the bridle reins and between my legs where the freedom is and that let this horse find out that he can listen to me. He doesn't have to be worried about the rest of the world. He can get quiet and, the, and his world will be a whole lot better. Because of listening rather than being tight and trying to jump out from under me. So, get stopped right there. I don't, there's going to be my reward for stopping. I, I don't like the way he stopped there when I took a hold of him. He just rooted into my hands. So I kept a hold of him until he came back and then let him, let him sit here and air up. So, that's quite a bit to to go through, but you know, on a horse that has learned how to get out from under you, I feel like he needed that exposure to get back and get comfortable and learn how to be a respectful citizen that, that is fun to ride and enjoyable to set on. So thank you very much for your time.